Ah, hello Eve. Alright, now this is basically the kit I sent you, okay? Not this green one, this one here. Now, inside that kit, I've put one of these. Now this is called a T40 driver, okay? And in this kit, you have those drivers here. Um, and over here, I think the driver, it'll be one of these as a spare. You also have slightly different ones here. Basically, in modern day equipment, you got all sorts of funny screws, okay? That's why we've included this box in, because it's not only just good for this, but you got a short extension there, and this slides into the extension. I've got one here that I'm going to do a demonstration with out of this kit, okay? I'll just give it to Ziggy, she's sitting just here. You're right, no, just over here with me, love. No, sit down there. In my hands, sweetie. Alright, so basically, this is a magnetic bit. You, you've got the same in that kit. It, it just... Well, this one looks stripped. Yeah, this one's, this one's stripped out. It's no good anymore. It's now a round circle. And they should be that shape inside. Okay, so I was doing some solar panels yesterday and I must have stripped that one. So basically, they fit in there like that. They fit firmly. If this does turn in there, then you've stripped it out and you just need to go get another one of these parts. But they're magnetic. Now, I'll explain the drill to you. Okay, so we're actually uh, going to be using it like a drill. So your drill setting is there. If you're using tech screws and all that sort of stuff, that setting is in the middle. And this is your clutch. So to save you stripping any screws, you just set this. And then when it gets to that tension, it just makes a, a rattle sort of a noise as it goes, slips past the clutch. And this setting here is hammer drill. All right. And down here on either side, this switch here just goes backwards and forwards. And that moves the drill to forward and reverse. And of course, that's your trigger. Now on the top, you've got one, that's high speed. Two, that's low speed. All right, I'll just grab a battery and then I'll come back, love. Just hang on, it won't be long. Okay, so we put that in the chuck. Now we want it, that's in reverse. You can see the center of the chuck gets bigger. And when you put it in forward, it gets smaller. Okay. You can hold it like this, just loosely, and it, tighten it up, and then just crank it down like that, and it's done up. And you can see now how easy, uh, uh, how well this all fits together. All right. Now we want it set on hammer and two. You want to start off with two, okay? Um, when you get uh, confident, you can go to one. It actually drives it into the ground a lot better when it's on one than it does on two. But I want you to start on two, which is a lot slower than Hang one. On. Hang on. Sorry, the dog got the... Dog got a little... Get out of it! Get out of it! Get out of it! Dog ah. got a lizard. Is it gone? Quick, quick, quick. It's gone. Ah, oh, goodness. 
That was my son's dog. He just almost killed a baby king skink that we got at the river. They, they come up in our garden. Anyway, I'll go on the lawn now and just show you. But yeah, when you put them in, when you screw them in, screw them in, so they got a little bit of room. And just so that's sitting flat on the ground, can you hold it so you can see it flat? And you see, try and put the peg in at a little bit of an angle. And that just makes it stronger because basically you're trying to pull it and you're trying to pull it through the angle. And, and it gives it a lot, a lot better grip on Australia like that. All right, let's just, I'll just come over to the grass. Okay, and don't even try with this first, okay? Don't even try it, just make sure you're on hammer, make sure you're on position two, okay? And sometimes this sticks in here, but you just gotta get a pair of pliers or something and get it off. I'm not gonna worry about it now. All right. The other side. Yeah, you have to actually look at the sun. The sun's coming from this way, so don't go into the sun. That's um. Uh, I hate new pegs. When this wears a little bit, the pegs go in and out a lot easier. I'm just trying to get the paint off. All right, so again, you can see that, I mean, this is really soft here, okay, it's not my driveway. But if you just put a glove or something on or just, just hold it here like this, that's enough to guide it in. And to come out, let the screw lift the drill. Don't you lift the drill. If you lift the drill, chances are, once these are worn, it's just gonna lift off there. All right, and that's basically it. It's uh, real easy. If these do get stuck in there, just get a pair of pliers and, and hold it and just give it a wriggle, it'll come out. It's uh, better to have them <coughs> a nice fit. But the ones I linked on the uh, website are really tough. They're actually for impact drivers, which is what we're doing here with the hammer. This, uh, we've turned it into a hammer drill, which is basically an impact drill, okay? So it's impacting on this, driving it all the way down. And the ones I linked to you from eBay are actually, the black ones are actually designed for impacts. Okay, that should be simple enough for you. Cheerio. Hot button.